Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with Ross Benjamin, SBR contributor, and today we're gonna to give you a quick pitching report for a couple of games. But first off, how you doing this morning, Ross? It's always better when I talk to you, Dex. Same here, same here, my man. All right, let's get right to it here. Um, looking at the pitchers for the Atlanta Braves and the Pittsburgh Pirates, I know that we've spoken in the past about Irvin Santana, but can you bring us up to speed on his most recent performances, Ross? He's been a very profitable four and one against the money in his last five starts and displayed good form in the process in those five starts. He's had a stellar 2.38 ERA and a almost four to one strikeout to walk ratio. He's been a bit unfortunate on the road this season, though, Dax. He's gone four and seven against the money on the road, losing four units against the money line, despite compiling a respectable 3.88 ERA in those outings. All right, now, Ross, on the other side of it, um, it kind of looks to me like the Pirates' Vance Worley is starting to look rejuvenated again since being called up for the minors, don't you think? I would say that's right on target. He's gone 4-1 and one against the money in his last five starts and posted a brilliant 1.62 ERA. He started four times at PNC Park in Pittsburgh this season, going 3-1 and one against the money in those starts and posting an impressive 2.00 ERA. He's starting to look a lot like the pitcher he did in his rookie season with the Philadelphia Phillies back in 2011. All right, now, I don't want to assume anything, you know, like I normally do. I want to leave this straight up to you. So who, do you get, who are you giving the nod to in this case, Ross? Well, I appreciate that. Vance Worley has posted a very good 2.32 ERA in 10 starts this season. And, folks, that's significant from a handicapping perspective. He will be facing an Atlanta team tonight that's gone a dismal 0-13 the last two seasons when they're facing a National League starting pitcher with an ERA of 2.70 or less. I'm going to give the advantage in this one to Vance Worley of the Pirates over Irvin Santana of the Braves. Well, there you go. I actually was thinking that you were going to give it to Santana, but anyways, I guess I was wrong. Um, now the other pitchers that we're looking at are for the Cincinnati Reds and St. Louis Cardinals. And neither Mike Leake nor Justin Masterson have had a banner year, don't you think? I would concur on that as well. I mean, the Reds' Mike Leake has gone 10-5 and five against the money this season losing 5.2 units against the money line. He's coming off a shaky start at home versus the Red Sox, in which he allowed five earned runs and eight hits in just five innings during a 5-4 loss by the Reds. The Cardinals' Justin Masterson is coming off his best start in nearly two months, Dax. The veteran Hurley Hurler pitched seven innings of scoreless baseball at Miami this past Wednesday and allowed just three hits while not issuing any walks. Unfortunately, prior to that start, Masterson had allowed five earned runs or more in five of his previous seven starts. So he's got to show me a lot more than what he's shown in his previous start. Well, it definitely looks like he is starting to gain up some momentum. But anyways, in your article, you did point out that you're leaning towards a total play here. Now, obviously, it seems that you don't believe in either pitcher, especially since you're not giving the edge here. But can you share your thought process on this? Well, I mean, Mike Leake has seen both of his starts versus the Cardinals this season go under the total, and a lot has to do with his pitching line. He's posted an excellent 0.86 ERA in those two outings versus St. Louis in 2014. Justin Masterson has gone a perfect 3-0 and against the money versus the Reds since 2011, all of those coming as a member of the Cleveland Indians and he had a microscopic 0.78 ERA and a better than 4 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio in those three outings. I'm looking for this game, Dax, to be a surprisingly low scoring affair. And people may scratch their head at that after I just went through these pitchers' numbers for the years. But I'm going to be leaning toward going under the total in this game. All right, well, one of those head scratchers was actually myself, but I totally trust you in this case, Ross. So anyways, I thank you very much again for your insight and can't wait to talk to you again tomorrow. Always a pleasure, Dex. Thank you, same here. And for sportsbookreview.com, this is Dax Floyd.